Hi, good morning. Uh, I'm Jessie with Tickly Refreshing Life. And in my latest blog, I talk to you about why I love lavender essential oil. And I give you in my blog uh, many ideas of how to use this oil besides, you know, the sleeping and everything. Uh, this oil is called the Swiss Army Knife of the oils because it has so many uses. Uh, today, though, I'm going to demonstrate how I do two things. Um, one is uh, body butter that I use. Um, I'm out, so I was going to make more, so might as well show you how. And I'm also going to make a spray in this little bottle uh, for the bathroom. So I'll show you what to do uh, real quick. I hope I don't take much, much of your time. I know you're very busy. I just want you to um, show you some of the examples that I give in my blog. For more ideas, though, uh, go ahead and click in the link uh, below here so you can see more ideas of what to do with this awesome oil. There's a lot. Anyway, so for the body butter, I'm going to use organic shea butter. This I got on uh, Amazon, and I'll put the link um, in also in the comments area. And I'm also going to use coconut oil, um, virgin organic coconut oil. Um, you can get this at any store or Amazon, and I'll put the link of what I got also in the comments area. So what I'm going to do is, uh, this is the shea butter. I'm going to put about a quarter of a cup of each one in a bowl that I have here. Um, I really don't measure it, but it's about a quarter of a cup of each uh, item, of each cream. Now the coconut oil that I'm using, I don't use it for cooking. Um, I use it specifically just for this because you know I, I keep it in my bathroom. I also, coconut oil is amazing. So I use it for a lot of things, but um, so I have that in a bowl and I'm gonna grab a napkin so I can wipe my finger off. And then you're gonna use an electric mixer and let me see if I can put the camera down a little. So you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, there you go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix this. It's gonna mix together until it gets like to a frosting, <laughs> a frosting consistency. So um, you have, sorry for the noise. It's just gonna take a minute. Um, in the low setting, I'm gonna mix this together. It's really fast and I'll show you. So it comes to like a frosting consistency uh, and you know just take the excess from the electric mixer it's I've never I've tried actually I've tried it with uh, like by hand and because the she butter is a little hard it doesn't it doesn't work as well so it's better to do it with an electric mixer like I just did and uh, it's faster too as you can see it was just a sec it was just a few seconds and you can um actually modify the the uh, quantities of this this is this is just for my container um, that I have so I use about a quarter of a cup of each one uh, but you can actually you know add more if you if you like to so now what we're going to do is we're going to put the essential oil and I put I like lavender because I, I I bathe at night and so lavender just calms me down and so um, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna put about 10 drops of lavender. It's taking its sweet time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yay! <laughs> 10 drops. And then I'm gonna just mix it with my spoon so the oil goes into the whole butter. And I'm telling you guys, this is so amazing in the skin. Um, I have a glass container here. Uh, when you put it on, it's just so amazing to, um, you know, when you put it on your skin. And a little goes a long way. So um, I make this much, and this lasts me maybe about, I don't know, four weeks or so, maybe five, because a little goes a long way. And, um, and it's just great. It, it, it really is. Um, 
as when it, um, when you put it in the container, uh, depends on what weather you're in. Uh, I'm in Utah. It does get hot here, but it never goes into liquid form. Um, and um, it goes like soft like this. That's the softest. And then in winter, it does get a little harder. Uh, but not to like, you cannot poke it. Like it gets a little firmer. That way. But it's amazing. I really, really love it. So I made a little bit of it. You see? And um, this was last, last me for about four or five weeks or so. I put it all over my body after my shower or my bath, and it's just great. So there's the body butter. Again, you can adjust the, the quantities of it as you go. Like if you want a, if you want a bigger container, you can even put half, half of each. So just make sure it's an equal, uh, equal of the coconut oil and the she butter. All right, so now um, I'm gonna make a pool spray. <laughs> it's called pool poppery. Um, and you need a two ounce glass bottle like this. <laughs> These are really easy to find <coughs> at Amazon. And I think I have a bottle here for that. But I have a dropper. I forgot to bring the, the funnel. Funnels are easier if you have a funnel to put here and then you just drop the liquid. But if you don't, a dropper will do. So I have a dropper here, so that's what I'm gonna use. Okay, so this one I have my notes because this one does last for a while and because I have one in each bathroom because everybody goes and we don't wanna smell it, right? So you need this. It's really easy to make. So this is a two ounce, you can do it at four ounce, but this is a two ounce one glass bottle. I recommend glass when you use essential oils because in the if you use plastic, although there is high-end plastic and you can use and I've used it before but you just have to be careful. Uh, if you use just regular plastic, um, the oils will absorb into the plastic and then it just lost, it will lose all its properties. So just make sure it glass is a lot better and then when it's dark like this it's even better because it conserves the uh, essence of the essential oil. So we're going to be using lavender for this one. And so what we're going to do is we're going to drop here 15 drops of lavender. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, sixteen. Fifteen, sixteen. <laughs> and then we're going to drop, um, this is Robin alcohol, just the alcohol that you'll get uh, at the store. And we're gonna do two. Oh. And we need two tablespoons. So we're gonna measure it in the tablespoon. We need two tablespoons, or two teaspoons rather. So I'm gonna measure it here and then drop it, drop it with my dropper because it's easier. Otherwise, I might drop, you know, the whole thing on the floor. Sorry about the funnel, I forgot it. But if you have a funnel, it's a lot faster. Okay. So there is my alcohol. And it's gonna be two tablespoons, or two teaspoons, rather. And again, this recipe is written down in the blog. So check out the blog if you want like more measurements. I'm just kind of showing you. And I should have put the camera down, but I didn't. I'm sorry. Okay, so here we have, and then we're gonna close it, and we're gonna shake it. We're not done yet. Shake it, shake it really, really, really good. Okay, now we're gonna add two tablespoons of, um, this is vegetable glycerin. Vegetable glycerin is available anywhere. I've, I've seen it in CVS and things like that. I usually get the big bottle, which I didn't bring down because it's a huge bottle uh, of vegetable glycerin uh, in my laundry because I use it for my fabric softener. Check out that video too. I showed you, I think I showed you how to do it. I'll look it up and I'll put the link here. I'm pretty sure I did. So I'm gonna do two tablespoons of this. So I just put a little bit of that here. And vegetable glycerin is a lot thicker, so I hope the dropper works. See, it might take a little longer, so bear with me, okay? Bear with me, bear with me. Let's see if I can just drop it in there without making a mess. 
Well, you know, messes happen. This is why you need a funnel, you guys. Anyway, I'm gonna get another one. Okay, this one looks a lot better. And then I'm gonna wipe it off. There's two tablespoons of that in there. Most of it. <laughs> Funnels are great. <laughs> I forgot mine upstairs and I don't wanna keep you waiting. All right, so then we're gonna shake it again. Now here's the good one. The, what's next is distilled water. I know, funnel, right? Where is my funnel when I need it? <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna close this up. Distilled water, you get anywhere too. Uh, I usually buy mine at the supermarket. It's less than a buck for a cold gallon. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy like they say. And then we're gonna fill up the rest with distilled water, which is gonna be very interesting and I'm afraid I'm gonna make a mess. So I'm gonna bring my bowl back because I don't wanna make a mess. Get a funnel, you guys. Well, I did pretty good. <laughs> I only dropped a few drops of water. All right, so I'm gonna close it back up and guess what? I have a very nice full potpourri. So um, these are the, just two examples of what to do. Just shake it really well. Um, what to do with a lavender oil. There's many other uses. Please check out the blog so you can see. Um, it's, it's really nice oil to have around. And what I love about Young Living is the purity of the oil. They have the seed to seal. I should say we have the seed to seal guarantee, which means that from the very ground where the plant is going to be going to the plant growth, everything to all the way to the distillation, the purity is guaranteed. There's no uh, pesticides there. We don't use any type of, um, you know, weed killer or anything like that. We weed by hand from the plant is taken care of all the way to the distillation in high, uh, in very, very low temperatures uh, that you can actually go see. The, one of the farms of lavender is here in Utah. It's in Mona and you can go see the whole procedure and you know you can see how they take care of everything from the plant all the way to the bottle. So I know I'm getting the good stuff. I know I'm getting what I, you know, my money's worth of good stuff. So anyway, and you know, because you put it in your skin, you put it everywhere. So you want to get the good stuff. If you have any questions or anything, you can reach me back. I'm gonna leave and uh, just pick everything up, but you don't have to stay for the cleanup. <laughs> so um, you can just uh, enjoy this and check out the blog for more recipes and more ways to use lavender oil. Have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.